Uh, thank you, Force Asia, for the invitation, uh, the slot to speak. Um, so uh, today I'm going to give a very brief talk about this uh, project of mine, which I uh, did during the COVID time, basically uh, uh, sometime uh, on hand, right? I could uh, like ex explore whether it's possible to uh, use feed gestures to use uh, that as an input device and also a feedback device to communicate so that this would be uh, instead of using hands, right, and also looking at the screen. So uh, the problem is that, uh, for example, like I'm not able to use the hand either by choice or it's like uh, because of uh, occupied, right, the hands. And then uh, maybe it's not so safe to use the hand uh, and possible, possible is um, inconvenient to speak or it's noisy environment, not able to speak. And um, perhaps uh, people who are active, right, instead of sitting at the uh, desk and typing on the keyboard the whole day, perhaps uh, there's an alternate method to stay in connection and at the same time be able to be productive. Okay, So I think, uh, as I mentioned, the screen uh, um, I saw. And uh, basically an alternative uh, to the uh, uh, keyboard and screen. Okay, so the haptic communicator basically uh, allows the user to be able to type and enter message. Um, works as um, all the, uh, must have the, so the idea is to be able to uh, replicate all the keys on the keyboard, right? So it has at least 101 possible combination of uh, input. So. So again, uh, what are the um, possible um, users who can benefit? I put it into three uh, color code. Perhaps the first one will be um, due to health reasons, disability, and also the um, people who wants to stay healthy. The second, maybe the professionals, for example, like surgeons working on uh, operating theater. The hands are very uh, busy, right, operating on the patient. And the uh, eyes have to look at the patient, right? So the eyes and hands are already tied up. So uh, how to, for example, monitor the heart rate of the patient, right? Maybe the beep is too noisy, right? Too many instruments. Uh, so another input channel. And then the um, last category would be the uh, gamers and maybe the virtual environment VR user, right? So gamers. Um, could gain an extra competitive edge using this um, device. So this is the a preliminary diagram and uh, there's a prototype that I made. So it consists of the pair of shoes and also the wrist held, wrist worn device, right? So with this combination, this is the, uh, some of the pattern filing uh, diagram which uh, so was submitted. Okay, so uh, this is the results of the one single uh, shoe, right? Not the pool pass. So you can see that you can recognize uh, 76 different gestures with a single shoe. So with two uh, shoes and a wrist, there's um, multiple possible combination uh, run into hundreds, right? So this basically is the gesture, whether the predicted match the actual gestures by the user. So, for example, if I tap my feet, that is recognized as a gesture. So, if I um, bring my feet to a certain angle, then that is another gesture. So, again, uh, this one I think uh, no need to repeat. It's the same uh, thing. So, again, um, the use cases, as I mentioned, right, people with disability, couple tunnel sufferers, uh, surgeon in operating theater, PC mobile gamers. So in terms of market, right, you can see that I did the research and the biggest segment at the highest growth rate would be the fitness followed by assistive tech. And there's also some potential here in terms of the professionals uh, using this in the line of their work and also gamers and tech adopters. So 
what are the alternatives out there, right? So from uh, what I did in my research, I see that um, the devices out there is pretty uh, basic. Uh, maybe the most, most advanced would be this uh, shoe, uh, laptop shoe, if I remember correctly. So basically, this uh, provides a positioning feedback for users. So for example, the people who are uh, visually impaired can navigate around without uh, 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 any auditory cue. So for example, if they need to turn right after a few steps, the right sh shoe would provide a uh, vibration right, to prompt the user to turn right. right? Or even maybe maybe an obstacle in front, right? He can uh, give a prompt by vibration so that the user know that okay, it should stop. And um, this is really not an alternative. And then on top here, that is a pretty crude, right? Up to five keys, but it's functional definitely. And how about the hand-worn uh, uh, devices? Okay, so I think this is a little bit dated, but uh, we have seen this uh, device out there some time back, right? There's a laser-pointed keyboard, but this still requires the hand and uh, tap on the surface, right? Although there's no physical keys. And over here, this uh, device is pretty interesting, right? This uh, tap strap. The tap strap uh, um, is one on the hand. Basically, is tapping of the fingers, right, on the hard surface, right? Depending on how which finger is being tapped and or the combination of fingers being tapped, it could kind of like replicate uh, the keyboard. But again, this also requires the use of the hand, right? And so hands and a surface as well. So I did uh, this uh, comparison. So I think the major advantage of um, not using the hands is that you free up the hands, right? That is uh, given. And then there's also a free up the screen, right? With the feedback, you don't need to look at the screen. You can focus on other more important areas, right? You can even like, as I mentioned, like gamers, their eyes are already busy, so many things, right, <laughs> in front of them. Okay, uh, so what about vision-based AI gesture? There's other, other alternatives out there, right? So this is uh, some of the things that is done, done and available. For example, using a camera to rec recognize hand gestures. Uh, even open source libraries are already available. So uh, pretty impressive. So the problem already or the limitations would be uh, requires a clear unobstructed view, right? And then the lighting condition also has to be within condition, uh, ideal. And of course, I think the image processing uh, workload is a bit heavier. And uh, there may be privacy concerns, right? Because you walk, wear a camera around, people will be a bit suspicious. And uh, how about the proven voice, basic voice communication? Just use voice call, right? Speak like a phone. Right? Of course, uh, this one uh, also requires a background that is a bit uh, not so noisy. Um, and it may not work that well with, uh, if the target is not another human being, right? You need to translate that into a machine code, or for example, acti activate machinery. So uh, also has to be discrete, right? So for example, if you are a negotiator, business negotiator or a presenter, so you may not be able to speak anything else, right? <laughs> you have to just use uh, some gestures to show, for example, time to cut the camera. Okay, again, uh, so in terms of market, uh, I can see that this is from the uh, public data basically. So we can see the variables market is growing very fast, right? For the next uh, 10 years or so, right? 12.4% CAGR. And uh, you can see that uh, even the mechanical keyboards are pretty uh, popular with gamers, right? So it's followed by the uh, market. So it's in the related segment, it's all growing IoT. 
So uh, that is the market segment that was uh, being pursued. So I think uh, what are the things that we can do to, um, I was thinking, right, could um, drive this adoption is maybe gamify it, right, in a way, right? Uh, people sharing gestures, one training uh, gestures that is trained, because otherwise uh, the standard uh, gesture may not work for every individual, right? Some people, depending on the uh, culture, uh, we may not reflect exactly the same. So I think uh, with the two years uh, since uh, the last uh, uh, update, I think now it's even uh, easier to do this because of the uh, improved AI uh, processing capability. And then we can even uh, have the uh, additional uh, like Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth, which uh, basically improves the reliability right, and performance and um, power consumption. So uh, that's all for my presentation. Get in touch and uh, let's see what can be uh, discussed. Okay, thank you. Yes. You mean this one? No, oh, this one. Okay. Um, I had the link in the detail um, original document, right? So uh, it's definitely from one of the research uh, market research uh, um, firm, right? Okay, I, I think I did put in some kind of picture. Oh, okay, it's no longer there. Um, yeah, uh, probably less uh, movement on the feet, uh, maybe standing a uh, bit of stretching, right? Um, so at least a uh, variety of uh, usage. So ex instead of just sitting down uh, the entire four hour stretch, right, you could um, like do a bit of uh, stretching while, you know, there's always demand for certain uh, gadgets. <laughs> oh, sorry. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Very much. Thank you. Thank you.